everyone. Golden Dawn. The Golden Dawn drew on such sources as the Kabbalah, magic, alchemy and astrology, whose signs adore this insignia. If this returning of the Rosary Cross was, all, was in all probability more utopian fantasy than anything else, the preeminent occult organisation of the late 19th century possessed a real infinite membership in a tangible history. The Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn was founded in 1887 by three British Freemasons, Dr. William Wynne Westcott, a coroner, S.L. McGregor Mathers, a translator of the occult text, and Dr. William Robert Woodman, a physician who were also Rosicrucians. In inevitably, the Golden Dawn owed much to the Masonic and Rosicrucian traditions, but its founders claim that it was based primarily on a cipher manuscript discovered according to one account in a London bookstore. The manuscript, clearly the work of someone familiar with the Kabbalah, alchemy, astrology and magical theories of the Elphus Levy, supplied the rural outlines of the Golden Dawn. The society's three founders assisted by long-distance communications of a mysterious, probably fictitious, German woman named Verluren Anna Spiragel did the rest. The Golden Dawn was a stylish, highly-minded, haven for sophisticated occultists interested in what was called rejected knowledge or knowledge that it was disdained by the establishment because it was based on magic or superstition. The society offered marvellous ornate ritual and orderly rise through the hierarchy of ten ranks in these three orders. <laughs> it also claims a notable purpose to obtain control of nature and the power of my own being. It is my prominent members included its many prominent members included the young William Butler Yeats and the actress Florence Farr. At first the order pros prospered su sufficiently to open several outposts, including a branch in Paris, headed by the now expat expatriate Mathers, but the Golden Dawn quickly founded after less than fifteen years was torn astounded by internal disputes and power struggles so this one continues on from this one but here i was reading about the free freemasons right and it's got craig's ghetto <laughs> and it made me think i wonder if this is where craig's list comes from <laughs> do you know what i mean so much as in these old books i just love reading them and it goes on about uh, John D and, and all these other ones. So if you're interested in that part of the book, let me know. I'll read it out if you want. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.